Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And today we are going to be drawing Alberto from Disney's Pixar Luca. It's on Disney Plus right now. If you don't have Disney Plus, I would get it just so I could watch it for this like month. I would get a subscription just to be able to watch it. And it's not in the premiere access either. It's totally like on the normal, um, subscription but oh my goodness it's my summer favorite movie right now i've watched it literally six times so far no literally six times okay guys so let's go ahead and jump into drawing alberto and if you haven't also already seen it there is a luca tutorial as well so i'll put that down below as well as like an i cards and everything so yeah let's go ahead and draw these two adorable sea monster kids all right, so we're gonna go ahead and lay out the bones first. So like the structure of Alberto's face and his arms, and he's got crossed arms just like Luca, so that's great. Alberto's face is going to be a little bit like a three quarter turn, and it's more of an oval, kind of like, almost like an avocado shape in a way. So if I go off to the side and I make like this avocado shape, You can see it's real, but if you look at it and you kind of break it down, we can adjust this later. It's like an oval and you bring out this side just a little bit more. All right, and then I'm gonna do that three quarter turn guideline. So his nose line going down this way. And then we got an eye guideline going up here. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and bring down his neck here and this could be adjusted just like Luca's was. Bring down his neck here, bring down his neck here. And then we're gonna go ahead and square off his shoulders. So I think Alberto is a little bit older. So we're going to just kind of like give him more of a broader shoulders than we gave Luca. At least I got that impression. He seemed a little bit older. I don't know if it's true or not. So we're gonna make those shoulders. Then we're gonna bring out one stick figure kind of arm again. Going this way. So this one's gonna be going down here and up and it's going to be underneath. I remember how we did Luca's hand. You're gonna circle off right here and then right here, you're gonna circle it all through here. And then from his shoulder, we'll kind of just like divide up his arms and his shirt. So his shirt goes down to here, and his shirt will go up to here. Then for the top of, like the bottom of his torso, we'll bring this down here. Bring that in, so it's kind of curved in because he's kind of puffing up his chest just a bit. We'll round that off and it'll have more of like, it looks like he's just holding up his pants with a rope. So it's got a little bit more of like levels to his pants. And then we're just gonna bring down this side of his pants and then this side of his pants. And we'll adjust it and give him his little rope belt and that's the bone so far. So let's go ahead, zoom in and give some details to his face. Now for Alberto's face, what we're going to do is his nose, it, like we started with Luca, his nose is kind of like a center point and his nose is all the way over here. It's kind of puffed up to the side going upwards and I'm just gonna go over here kind of round that off and then round this upwards and then we'll define it later because his nose ridge is cutting off the side of his eye that's over here with his three-quarter turn on this eye guideline we are gonna go ahead and make an oval Same for over here, but the oval's gonna be going off to the side. Then down here, underneath his nose, 
you're gonna make the beginning part. So I'm just gonna kind of like make this little half moon, I mean fingernail moon. And then over here, closer to here, closer to his eye, you make this half moon. And you're gonna go and you're gonna connect those moons together. So it's like a backwards moon and then a fingernail moon. And I'm just trying, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just trying to make this a little bit more understandable. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect to here. And then you got Alberto's great big wide grin. Another thing we want to do is go ahead and come up here, make an eyebrow. Same for here, we're gonna make, he's got, a, got like, you know, his little confident eyebrow action going on. So one's gonna be like going down, up, down this way, one's gonna be going like normal, big thick eyebrows. And one's gonna be going up this way. Let's start with Alberto's little eyes. So he has them like half shut. So starting with the right eye, I'm gonna go across and just close off that one eye like this. I'm actually making that a little bit more of a flatter crease. And then the same over here, you wanna make sure that it's on the same level. So if you have to draw a line to make sure that it matches up. And his eyes right here, pupil iris area there. Another eye pupil eye area. And remember this nose ridge should be going along here. So this nose ridge is still there and the eye should be building up off of that nose ridge. Then for this nose, you're gonna make sure that the nostril's all the way over here and then all the way over here. And I'm gonna make that kind of like that nose flap like we gave to Luca. It kind of goes up. Go ahead and get rid of that line for right now and get rid of this line. So this one looks like it's more chopped off because we can't see the side of it over here, but we can see more fully on this side. And he's got some freckles too. And I've got a little bit of an indention from his cheek over off to the side. Now for Alberto's mouth and his teeth, we're not gonna divide up his teeth. It's just, it's scary looking and it's intimidating. So we're just going to give it like the basic like line. So starting from here, and we're gonna go all the way to like back here. So for an easy thing right now, we're just going to make a straight line and connect those two areas. The only thing I'm gonna do to show like the division of his teeth is maybe, so these are pretty straight here but then you've got kind of like a little bit of like hill action going on on his teeth. And they go up in there. And then you're just going to erase like that middle line in here and you're just going to do, that's about, that's about it. That's as crazy as the teeth are gonna get. And you can divide them if you want. I'm not gonna divide them. <laughs> Because I don't like dividing teeth in general because teeth are scary. And then he's got, you can see his tongue right down here. And you can go ahead and get rid of that middle guideline. Even get rid of the eye guidelines. And I'll go ahead and I will color this at the end and line it so you guys can see this just a little bit more. Next, let's go ahead and give him his pupils. And Alberto has really pretty green eyes. I thought they were brown at first, but they're really pretty green. So I'm gonna jump in, I gave that pupil there. I'm gonna give a pupil right in here so it's being cut off again. A little shine here and a little shine here. And I'll fill in the pupil. And you got, like, you can go ahead and get rid of the tops of the eyelids. 
So I get rid of the top of the eyelids and I just keep the sides. That's basically all you need to keep. So right from here, going up into his eyebrow, keep that. Same for here. And then he does have like, he doesn't have like the harsh blush cheeks like Luca does, but he does have like some blush going down across his nose. And I can show him coloring later. Also, he's got some freckles. Now let's go ahead and do Alberto's really crazy awesome hair. So we're gonna pretend that we're gonna make like a marshmallow mountain right on top. Big round marshmallow mountain. Then you're gonna jump back here and go back in. And then there's a part right here too. So we've got this big awesome poodle bump on his head <laughs> and then we're gonna bring out this part back here you're gonna round it down all right let's go ahead and add some curls and you can kind of do this in levels so you can start with we're gonna start with the middle part oh wait first of all we need to address his forehead so I'm bringing up his forehead going to come in here just so we can get and then come in here just so we can get like those sideburns almost like the beginning of his like his hairline and then it goes down and I'll go right in and then before we detail his hair let's go ahead and add that ear so it's below here below his hairline so big old ear and we're just gonna kind of go in make that fingernail moon and go inside of it. So we created kind of like a crazy curved D. Now for his hair, you start at the bottom level and you can start creating big curls. On top of here too, big curls. till you get to the top point. So it's like big, really tight curls that are like mushed in with each other. And you kinda wanna make it look like it's leveled. So it just looks like it's leveling up. And then over here, kind of the same thing. Not necessarily levels, but he does have really tight curly hair. So you wanna make sure you go in and get those really tiny curls on the side and all the way down. And you can go in both directions. And then you're just not necessarily like filling it up over here but you do have a small section just to kind of show that there's more hair on this side of his head. Alrighty so now we've got his face all lined up. I kind of brought up that face line just a little bit more so instead of like a perfect round down here I kind of just brought it up into that ear so you can see if I like bring this down here I brought it up just a little bit more. So I got rid of like this bottom part and I'm gonna reconnect his neck. And go right back in so it's like a wide base connecting to his neck and a really skinny neck. Now for his shirt, basic tank top kind of like, yep, just a basic yellow tank top. It's got a v-neck, so we're gonna like curve the shoulder here, go down, and then go right back up. Round off the shoulder. And then we'll start with this arm over here first. So this one's nice and round, and it's gonna go straight. You're gonna make sure it's the same equal distance from each other so 
nice and straight here. Curve that elbow. Bring down this one and then this one again. And then we're gonna go up into his wrist. And like Luca's, we're kinda like, we have this big, he's got his hand folded over this arm. So we made the like circle area. Before we do that, I'd like to go ahead and kind of like, okay, so we've got a, his hand here, his wrist is beginning here, and the rest of his hand, we've kind of got some fingers hanging out on the back here. But we're gonna make this one, that crook of the elbow, and then back into here. And back up into his arm. All right, so let's define this hand. I'm gonna start with the pointer finger that's going up here. Go in, I've got the middle finger. Then I've got like another finger here, another finger here. And then the pinky, we can see a little bit more of. I'm gonna bring it out. And make it look like it's got a little bit of like an archway here. Some knuckles. So that basically defines, so if I go ahead and get rid of the guidelines, like that circle, that top of that circle that we made, and I straighten it up a little bit more, you can see how the fingers look like they're just stacked up on each other, keeping that knuckle. And then down here, we've got, his fingers are kind of showing out over here. So we got one finger, we'll start with the pointer. A little bit of the middle finger showing. And then another finger. But it's just hanging out off to the side. So this one's kind of like aloof as this one is clasping his arm over here. And then we'll make this a little bit more defined. Bring down this tank top a little bit more. We're going to give it a lining around his V-neck. As well as like this, I guess, I don't really know. It's like a lining around the, the sleeve part where it's cut off and we don't really see this side of the lining in a way. If you wanted to find his shirt a little bit more, I mean, he's got tiny, tiny lines going down there's no like no defined color or anything it's just like a darker yellow it's just to show like it's pleated almost in a way we gave this lining but what we're going to do is add like some square it, it's like a bundled up like you can clearly tell it's just an old pair of pants maybe from his dad and they're just like all wrinkled up because they're being held together by a rope and then we have two belt loops right here so we got one right here and one right there and then we've got like a little knot so here's a belt loop there's a belt loop and then you're going to connect like make a rope on each side And then you've got the rope that's in the middle. It's kind of, so we're just gonna make a square here. Like it's a knotted off tie. A square up here, like it's going through. And we've got the rest of the rope coming through here. And then you're just gonna make like, you know, one little piece over here that's like the tie and another piece that's like a tie. So it looks like, you know, one square, one rectangle overlapping this one. One square is underneath, and then you've got like the tie ends. Bring down that side. 
and bring down that side and you've got the top of his pants. Alrighty guys, and there we go. There is how to draw Alberto Scurfuru. I don't know how to say his last name, but you know. <laughs> but yes guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it already, I've been talking about it throughout his whole entire tutorial. There is a Luca tutorial, so if you want to, I'll put the link down below or up in like the little, you know, iCard things or at the end screen and you can draw Luca along with Alberto Scurfuru. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I could probably pronounce it if I tried, which is not Michael Scott. Once again, I can't pronounce anything. But yes, guys, hope you enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in a Julia tutorial. And maybe I can make that next week. But 